has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, Kiki Palmer was hosting Saturday Night Live over the weekend, and she made a huge announcement. There's some rumors going around. People have been in my comments saying Kiki's having a baby, Kiki's pregnant, and I want to set the record straight. I am. Well, congratulations to Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend, Darius Kiki Jackson. Drop on the clues balls with Kiki Palmer. She is having a baby. Some positive news. Now, uh, in Houston, it seems like they announced an arrest of a man charged in a connection with the murder of Takeoff. Horrible, man. 33-year-old suspect Patrick Xavier Clark. He was arrested on Friday. Yesterday evening, we arrested Patrick Xavier Brown, 33 years old, was charged with the murder of Takeoff. Brown was arrested again yesterday evening in the 14700 block of Sterling Green Boulevard, Cameron Joshua, 22 years old, was arrested on November the 22nd, fell in, in possession of a weapon. I spoke to uh, Takeoff's mother early this morning, and um, my prayers, and I ask that all our prayers continue to go out to her and his entire family, his close friends, the city of Atlanta, and all of Takeoff's fans around the world. We lost a good man. Take off murder for no reason. No longer here, not spending the holiday to, holidays with his family for no reason whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And now that young man going to spend the rest of his life in jail for no reason whatsoever. Now they believe Takeoff suspected killer reportedly tried to flee to Mexico. Uh, they believed right shortly after Takeoff's uh, death, they said that uh, the gentleman applied for an expedited passport. He allegedly presented a Mexico-bound itinerary just to justify the rush request. They believe he was trying to flee. And right now, his bond is at $2 million. And what was the motive? Did they say it was a motive? Because, you know, the the, the, the Internet was saying it was a, a, a accident. accident. Ex- accidental shooting. So was there a motive? Was it an accidental shooting? They're not saying yet. Mm. They're not saying yet. Now, uh, Cardi B, all right, now she was in the news. Uh, that's because somebody posted a clip of her performing over the weekend and said not the Grammy winner performing in someone's backyard. Well, Cardi B clapped back at a fan quickly and uh, said that she was paid a million dollars for a recent private Art Basel performance. And she showed proof that she got a million dollars to perform in somebody's, I guess, private crib or, or private lounge. That's why you got to watch your mouth, especially right. on the Internet, because you don't know what the hell you be talking about. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Now she said, I could have I watched that video and said... Uh, Cardi B was getting a big paycheck. Absolutely. Because I know, I know Barty would not be doing such an intimate performance uh, if it wasn't a big check attached. Well, well, she probably would do it if it was a friend or a huge check. And a lot of times uh, people do that. They'll hire these artists, hire these performers, yes. just come to the backyard of their house. But bar please for... believe what you talking about? they get big bank. Even when I have to do a bar mitzvah, yeah, you charge a little extra when it's in somebody's house. Yes. Yes, it is what it is. Well, she said, I got paid a million dollars to perform at this elite bankers event, private event for 400 people and only for 35 minutes. Think about that when you type about this Grammy winner. Talk hey, that man. talk, hey, Cardi. Man. Those, those private corporate events, come on, bro. Drop on the clues, bonds for body. But that's why you got to mind your business. Yes. Okay? You be all up in other people's business and don't be knowing nothing. You should ask questions. You should say, hey, Cardi, why were you? performing in what seems to be somebody's backyard. And then she could have explained it to you. No, you should have just mind your business and said, damn, I'm, I seen Cardi perform in somebody's backyard. I'm sure she got a million dollars. That's what she should have did. Well, I don't I don't know if you would know the number, but yeah. yeah. But, you, know, you, would know, you would know that there's a check attached to it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Floyd Mayweather, he said he wants to purchase an NBA team, and he said he's already offered a couple of franchises $2 billion. Now, you have audio of that? Yeah, let's hear it. I've been working on buying an NBA team outright. One of my other other business partners, Brent Johnson, he's here. So we've been working on the NBA team for a while now. You know, it's kind of, it's rough. Vegas? It could be the Vegas franchise. It could be the Seattle franchise. Yeah. Or I could be buying a franchise that's already up and running. Mm. Gotcha. So um, the first offer, we offered them. A little bit over two billion for majority ownership. Um, do we got? Do I have it? Absolutely, absolutely I have it. But clap it up for that. <laughs> of course, I. Are you kidding me? But it didn't happen. It didn't happen overnight. 
So to the good brothers of Earn Your Leisure, too. That was from uh, Earn Your Leisure's live show at... Uh, the Garden. The Garden, the Hulu Theater at the Garden. Mm -hmm. But uh, salute to Floyd Mayweather, man. He earned his position. He earned his money, mm -hmm. you know? So that and that's, uh, NBA team is absolutely, positively a great investment if he can make it happen. Absolutely. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Uh, Donald Trump, he calls for the termination of the Constitution. I need to hear, I need to hear more. <laughs> no, I need to hear more because I'm one of those people that, you know, I, I, I feel that way in a lot of ways, too. Let's discuss. All right. We'll talk about it when we come back. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.